Palace have been doing too many collaborations. I don't actually wear the brand. I think the people behind it are fucking wankers and I would never support anything that they do in the slightest. But I can't hate. And I have to say, the stuff that they make is nice. I'm never going to wear it, of course, ever. But it is decent. So decent that I'm actually considering buying some of this Palace and Porto Yoshida collaboration and just removing the Palace label. But then I'd know, people would know it's Palace because of the you know, the design. It's kind of like this weird tie-dye type of material um, design that they're doing on their flipping bags. But let me show you the bags first of all so you can see what I mean. Because I think the bags might be worth buying just so I can debadge them. That's, that's what I'm thinking. So if we scan across here, we've got some clothes with the Trifig logo, but no one's wearing that over the age of 18. So we pass that long, 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 long. We don't care. We don't care. Hoodies, we don't care. We don't care. Um, jackets, we don't care either, even though they look pretty decent, right? The thing that really, really got me was the bags, man. Look at these bags. These bags are fire. So I'm legitimately thinking, should I purchase one of these? and kind of cut and cut short my personal vendetta and hatred for palace not to wear the stuff and not to support it and just delabel it when in theory everyone will know what i'm wearing because of how distinctive the pattern is because porter yoshida make these great bags anyway but they don't usually make these sort of patterns they usually do these only in collaboration so maybe maybe i should buy this just for the sake of it because these bags are fucking perfect great little hand great little bat handbags great little male streetwear handbags that i can basically wear um to kind of you know um floss out and do my thing and whatnot i can put this on if i want to go to the club have this if i need to go for a dj set need it if i need to go to a flight the perfect combination and look at the backpack even the backpack's probably the best thing about it look at how good that backpack looks look at the padding on the back there huh that's like good padding that you put on the backpack where if you want to go hiking or you want to walk around your metropolitan city looking for the perfect cafe spot, right? Or the closest place that you can go to in terms of a hood area to get some really cheap eats. This is the bag you're going to be using. Loads of padding that can protect your very expensive MacBook when you're traveling, right? A nice little side pockets there so you can put your refillable bottle in there and fill it up with water. I love this, man. Look at that. It looks lovely, isn't it? That looks really nice, especially the front pockets here. you got whatever tie-dye material you have here and this really nice plush velvet material going on there. But I would instantly remove that label, instantly debadge it. But then I have a theory or I have a, you know, I'm, I'm just scared that people will figure out why I'm wearing Palace and they won't talk to me again because Palace is lame. I don't know. And the hat, you know, no one's wearing the flipping hat. That looks like a, that looks like an Asbo hat waiting to happen there definitely a hat of people that beat their wives so yeah this is another how people that probably push their girlfriends in traffic so i'm definitely not into that vibe um we continue what else have we got here we've got another bucket hat again we've got stickers i guess that sticker is that a sticker or is that carabiner what is that uh who cares really but we continue <laughs> let's go down and see what dates they're gonna come i think they're all out already right yeah they're out on march 17th so if you want to buy some porter yoshida collaborations you can make sure you go to where they sell those things and you can grab it if need be but the bags for me are definitely the stand-up piece in this entire thing i think that's meant to be a coin case right this little triangle thing but again no one's no one's wearing a triangle um coin case over the age of flipping 18 so that's not going to be happening so definitely again i may have to do that and just debadge it because i wonder if people do the same thing with telfar if people get Telfar bags, they're like, you know what? I don't want to I don't want to endorse or represent the black community. I don't want to be an advocate or an ally. So I'm going to buy the Telfar and I'm going to cover it. <laughs> I want to cover the logo. I wonder if they say that. I wonder if that's a thing. I doubt it, but I do wonder. 